On Sunday evening at 8 p.m., the Chief Minister announced that we had reached the time for the next stage in our efforts to slow the spread of COVID-19. The restrictions have now been in place for several days, and we all now appreciate what they entail. They are restrictions on our personal freedom of action that are outside the experience of almost all of us living in Jersey today. We have looked across the world and seen the spread of the virus from country to country and the measures that each country has put in place when they thought that it was right for them to do so. On Sunday, the time became right for us as well, and that step was taken in the light of the medical evidence and advice. We now need to have these measures in place to prevent our doctors, nurses, paramedics, and all our health workers from being overwhelmed. We owe them all a debt of gratitude, and that debt will only grow in the time ahead. But it's not only them. It's also all those islanders who are continuing to provide essential services on which we all rely. Our teachers, the people who provide food, medicines, and other essentials in our shops and pharmacies those who carry out critical maintenance, repairs, cleaning and other services. All of them deserve our thanks for their continued work in the community when they may wish they were at home with their loved ones. I have, as bailiff, received regular briefings, attended the Emergencies Council, briefings to state's members and meetings of the Assembly. I know, therefore, how determined and committed everyone is to keeping this virus down to manageable proportions and to saving the lives of islanders who might otherwise be affected. I know how hard those who serve us in this way are working, how tirelessly they are dealing with an enormously complex, challenging and fast-moving situation. I am confident that Jersey is receiving and acting on the best possible advice. Not every country has dealt with the virus in exactly the same way at precisely the same time. That is in part because the appropriate response is different depending upon the course the virus is taking in any one place. It's not surprising, therefore, that Jersey's response might be slightly different from other places. It is a tailored response that fits Jersey and our circumstances, and I am confident that it is the right response based on current advice. I know that this is, at the very least, a challenging time for all of us, and for many it is unnerving and frightening whether we show it or not. Everyone has a different way of responding to challenging situations. But it's because we can understand how others may be feeling that it's so important to show the best of ourselves. And Jersey has an enormous amount it can show. The people of Jersey, and by that I mean all of us who live here, no matter where we are from or what our mother tongue might be, have all faced personal challenges in the past. We know, through all the challenges that we have faced as individuals and as an island, how strong and resilient we can be. We will be calling on those qualities, together with others such as courage and kindness, to help each other through the days ahead. I have said before that we were in this together. No one remains unaffected and all our lives have changed. That is true. But it is also true that we can know with certainty that this too shall pass, and it will pass more quickly if we meet our obligations as citizens of Jersey, do our duty, and follow the instructions given to us by our experts. These restrictions are not a cure for the virus. They are rather a way of managing the virus's progress so that those of us who are badly affected by it, those of us who are vulnerable, will have the medical services, help and treatment that we need. That will happen if the progress of the virus has been managed by us all. For most who contract COVID-19, the symptoms will be relatively mild. But for some of us, and we cannot say who they will be, they will be more severe. It is to protect those people, and it could be you, me, our families and friends, that we must act now and resolutely continue until the job is done. In weeks or months, we will begin to put this behind us. We will know that we have played our part in protecting the vulnerable amongst us and have saved lives. I hope that we all may say that, and that no one is foolish enough to ignore or seek to avoid advice and instructions given to us by the experts. I know that some of us are frightened. I know that some of us are worried about friends, family and loved ones or themselves, it's human to be so. 
It is also the better part of being human to make these sacrifices necessary for the good of all our people. And I am absolutely confident that we, the Jersey people, will measure up to that challenge. Many people are devoting their time and expertise in supporting Jersey's response to COVID-19. In addition, we are aware of a number of private individuals and organisations who want to help and to donate money. For this reason, I have set up a bailiff's fund, as we have often done in the past, to respond to international disasters, to support the island's healthcare and community activities. This fund will challenge any charitable donations appropriately, and my office will work with the health department and charitable organisations to ensure that the generous offers that we have received are directed to the areas in need of extra support. So much else is happening in our community, through parishes, central government and charities to support those in need. Jersey people, steeped as we are in the tradition of voluntary service and of charitable works, have always helped each other. I know we will help each other now. Thank you.